Hello gang. Hello friends. Hello gang friends. I'm outside. It's warm and sunny. I'm outside. I know. What is this ball of fire in the sky? Please excuse any external outdoor noises that you hear. Um, I'm in the garden because the sun's out. Um, and the rule over here is if the sun's out, you have to be outside. So, oh, look at these. We have some new um, builder gels from Madame Glam. I love these pots. I don't know what it is about them. Oh, you can get money off and whatnots with those those things. Um, I don't know what it is about these pots, but some, they're just cute. You know when you get, oh, that's it next to the gel paint so you can see it's like a mummy and a baby you know it's like a little hotel mini mini shampoos and things you know they're kind of cute i like these pots they're cute but they're big um i like the pots okay um right so this is what the consistency is like i really like this consistency it moves but it's not runny runny but it stays but it's not stiff um it's a perfect gel consistency, I think, for me anyway. Um, it's thicker than what I used to use, but I like that. The one I used to use is really runny. Uh, and this pink colour is so nice. It's so nice. Such a nice nail bed colour. So we're going to do some things with... Oh, I had to test it on myself. We're going to do some things with these today, um, but we're also going to use these. They did come with crystals in them. I've just put them in different things. Um, from Crystal Parade, we have the Champagne Fizz Zodiac set. Oh, these um, pearls, you know, normally with little pearl um, cri crystals, not crystals, pearls, they're kind of matte on top, but these are shiny, shiny pearls. Love those. Um, and then we have the Pink Green Aurora Zodiac ones. You can get money off here as well using the link in the description and the code Miss Jo. These are kind of iridescent. Well, they're, they've sort of got a clear quality to them. So when you put them on, Dexter, stop it. That's for the birds. <sighs> Why is he drinking the bird water? Um, when you put them on different colours, the, the crystals go different colours. And then we have these, which are like, are they pink? Are they blue? Are they purple? Are they, they're, they're, they're all of them. Um, so we're going to use those today as well. And we're going to start with our Madame Glam application brush. There we go. Can you hear that helicopter? Who gets a helicopter anywhere these days? And we're going to do a coat of the clear. So this is just showing you what I would do on a person. Um, once you've pri uh, prepped and primed, I like to do this layer, which I call a scrub layer. Um, I don't know if that's what it's called. Um, where I really work the product into the person's natural nail, sort of massage it in sort of thing, and then cure it. And I found that really helps with lifting, um, to stop it, <laughs> to not lift. We don't want to aid lifting, we want to unaid it. Um, he's still drinking the bloody... Dexter, stop it! There's fresh water for you inside, you weirdo. So now we're taking the... I'm not distracted at all, what are you are talking about? Uh, we're taking the white, well it's a, a, a jelly white, milky white, there we go. And we're putting it up to where we'd want, we're doing a boomer, up to where we want the white to start, but a bit, a bit higher because we're going to sort of blend. And then we're going to add some more to the bottom, just so it's not um, got any patches where we can see through. And then I have just gently faded out upwards at the top of the, the top being up, not the tip. Um, I faded it out a little bit by brushing up, but not letting the brush go right through the product to touch the nail. We want to sort of fade it out by going halfway into the product and just pulling it up a bit. You know, I think, yeah, we're good. And then I cured that. And now I'm taking this gorgeous pink and we're going to, again, not touch the nail like this, see? We're not pressing down to the nail plate. We're staying inside the body of the product we're applying. Um, you should see the hand gestures I'm making. <laughs> um, and then we're just going to work from left to right down the nail. And then when we get to where we... Uh, 
um, want to start our sort of fade, we'll gently here just pull down. So again, not touching the nail plate, just going into the product. And then I'm going to wipe my brush and then fade it a bit more. I, I must admit, I don't think I do the best job in this video. I'm happy with it, but because I haven't used Builder Gel in so long, um, I just, yeah, I wasn't used to it. And also, there's no, I'm only used to working with Builder Gel on humans, where there's, you know, fingers around what we're doing, and it kind of aids, I don't know, it makes me do it differently. But this bit, I do the same. So I'm using my brush sort of vertically and I'm not pushing, again, not pushing to the nail plate, just into the product a little bit to drag it, to fill any gaps there might be um, with, you know, even evenness, to make it even. So if there's a dip, um, hanging it upside down is obviously going to let gravity pull it down. And then you can just touch an area and pull it over where there might be a, a sort of gap. But, oh, and then we just sort of fiddled around with it on top a bit more just to get the blend how we wanted. But there is a dip in this. So you could um, do it a lot thicker in the first place and then get your apex, apex how you want it and then file. Or you could do it in layers. So do the, the white and the pink and then do white and pink again to build up the thickness of the nail. But I was quite happy with the blend, so I thought, well, I'll just use clear to do a sort of overlay and then use this to create my apex and shape. Um, so we're covering the nail with the clear now. And this is sort of what I'm doing on top uh, and when I hold it upside down. This, just pulling bits gently, or even a bit less than that. That was a bit harsh. It's really hard. I can't get this on camera because it needs to be upside down. <laughs> I need a glass table and film from upside down. Um, but this is what we're doing, just pulling little strings from the thickest part down to cover any dips. This. Uh, do I need to start this whole thing again? I'm not sure. Um, but we're going to build that with the clear and then we can cure. Um, and then we're going to wipe off the tacky layer and file, which I'll speed up. Um, and this filing routine is sort of similar. It's, it's sort of the same as what I do on people, but it's a bit different because it's not a person. But you see my thumb here on the right, going up and down and up and down. As I'm filing one side of the nail, I'm tilting it so that it's easier to file on that side. So I'm constantly rocking, that's the word, rocking side to side while filing. You want to file from the side sort of up because you want to push everything towards the center. So that's the high point. Um, and then I'm going to go vertically with my brush along the front of the nail here. Um, because in the in Europe we have we sort of have a different apex style um, than maybe in I don't know in the US maybe. And we have it sort of higher at the back, um, like further back, and then as it comes towards the tip we have it sort of coming straight, you know, like flat, but at an angle. Um, maybe I'll put something on the screen to help with what I just said. But obviously you will, you will file it and do your apex and your shape um, however you like it. But it is different. It does vary by country. Um, I prefer the sort of European way, which is more high at the back and then sloping towards the free edge, which you always want to be no thicker than a credit card um, or a debit card. <laughs> um, whereas I think in the US, maybe it's changed, I don't know, I haven't looked into it for a while. It's more kind of a high point in the center and just goes up and down. Um, but ours is definitely higher at the back. Um, and then we're taking the McCart rhinestone gem gel glue stuff, which is just amazing. Look, nothing's sort of swimming around. Um, it's really, hello, hello, you're covering the screen. Love you. Go away. <laughs> I can't see, Degs. And then we, before curing it, we've added some of these um, crystals. And, oh, they're so nice. Look at the shiny pearls. 
Who knew we liked shiny pearls, Nixie? His face is literally... Don't lick me. He's annoyed I'm on my phone. He's trying to get my attention by standing in between the phone and me. Um, so that is that one with those crystals on. Love those crystals. Um, and obviously we've top coated. Um, so that's the boomer. Don't sit there. Oh, for goodness sake. Okay. He's now lying like right on me. Okay. So now we are, we're doing a thin coat of the pink. And before curing, we're going to take some of this sort of angel paper and we're going to scrunch it up into a ball and throw it away. No, we're not. We're going to scrunch it up and then open it. And then um, we don't even think about rolling in that. I knew he'd find that bird poop. And then I've, I've, I've opened it, but you can see it's more scrunched now. I scrunched it a second time. Stop that. And we're going to place it on the wet pink. I wanted to do pink because I wanted it to have a bit of a pink background. And we're just going to hold it in place and flash cure it. So you can't do this on the free edge of a person. Um, we're just flash curing so it stays um, whilst pulling the sides down. So it stays like that. And then we'll full cure it in the lamp. And then we will cut off. I think I, there's a bit too much excess here. You might want to cut it a bit closer to the, what you're actually putting it on size wise. Um, but don't need to worry about that when it's just a pop. And then I'm going to take some clear and just cover the join and the bottom part here. Just to smooth it out a little bit. Um, but we'll go over it fully later. I needed to hold it down a bit tighter where the top of that paper was because I didn't it's not I didn't hold it down firm enough firm enough and it's a bit scraggly um, at the join so we went over that with some clear just to smooth it out for this next bit because otherwise bringing the pink down just over the paper where I hadn't got the join area flat would have been all horrible so we cured that and now we're taking pink and we're going to do similar to what we did with the boomer just now. We're going to fade it down um, over this paper. But yeah, if I hadn't covered the paper, this bit would have been all scraggly and uneven. I don't really like the whole um, having something sparkly or shimmery or, you know, iridescent or whatever disappearing under um, like a more opaque colour. You know, like some people have the glitter at the cuticles but that fades underneath and then you've got a colour that goes up. I don't like that look. Um, I mean, it, it's good. <laughs> I'm not dissing it, but it's just not, not for me. So I'm not really a fan of sparkles disappearing into something a bit more milky. But that's just me. So again, we're going to hold it upside down, let gravity do its thing, pull it down and then just take little sort of strings to even that out a little bit. Um, but I wasn't using that to build an apex or anything. So again, we're going to go over it with clear and add our overlay. Um, if terms, nail terms and things like that are a bit confusing or product, which products are what, I do have a video called Nails 101. Um, it's an old video. Well, it's not that old, is it? I don't know. Who cares? And it has all nail terms and product terms and all the different products and we look at them and and we talk about them uh, for almost two hours. Um, so if you're interested, I will put a link um, in the description to that video. So we've got our clear on, just trying to make that even-ish, hold it upside down. There'll be more product where I initially put the product down. So we'll touch into that, not, not into the cured part of the nail just into the wet product a bit and just pull a little string from there down towards the tip to fill in any unevenness and then again we will wipe and we will um, shape I did get to a point oh another helicopter why is there so many helicopters um oh it might be like a sea lifeguard type helicopter what are they called Oh, it's not even a helicopter. It's one of those little planes with, like, you know, one of the Wright Brothers planes. Yeah, I'd, got, I'd gotten to the... Oh, there's another plane that's pulling a glider. Um, it's clear sky over here, so everyone's like, let's get out, let's get out in the planes, you know, because we all have planes. 
Um, I got to the point with doing extensions on people where I wouldn't have to do much filing because I managed to get these sort of apex and everything. Well, this is going to sound a bit a holy, but perfect. Um, so there wasn't much filing to do, um, which, you know, everyone will get to that point at some point. Um, the more you do something, the better you get. Um, but on these, um, it's different. And I haven't used Bubba Gel in ages. And it's different consistencies. So I've stopped making excuses. I had to file it because my shape wasn't perfect. And now we're adding before topping, because I forgot to add the crystals before topping on the last one. Um, before topping, we're adding the green pink auroras because I thought it would match the the the, the bit the bottom. Oh, look at that. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Oh, isn't that so satisfying? Mmm. And then we will cure. So we're going to push the top coat up to the crystals at the top, use it to kind of seal in around them. But that gem glue is amazing. They don't budge. And then we'll cure that. And that's that one. I must admit, like I said, I don't like the, the fading under a, underneath something. But I do like this. That's cute. Those crystals match it perfectly. I've not had a single set of crystals from Crystal Parade that I haven't loved I mean, I'm a girl, they're sparkly. Um, it's kind of natural for me to love anything sparkly, but they are all amazing. Okay, now on this one, I'm going to do something I've never done before. And we're going to do the a French, not a French, we're going to do a smile line. So we're going to build the nail bed up first. So I'm just trying to create, trying to give myself a shot at getting an even smile line. So just done a, a line down to where I want it to um, start or the center and then across so I can curve between them and then we're going to plonk a whole bunch of the pink builder oh this pink is such a nice pink so nice and we're going to build that up we want to create um, a thick enough sort of bit <laughs> thick enough section that we can file and neaten it once it's cured. I've never done this before. Oh, and I should have started from the top and worked my way down, um, which is why I'm now working my way, way up, which makes no sense. Um, but I was just trying to rectify the fact that I didn't start from the top. So I would recommend maybe putting your, putting, starting in the, at the smile line and then getting another bead and starting from the top and coming down. Don't try and work upwards. Don't try and work against all laws of physics. So we're going to, pop that on here and because there's no finger and these nails are very sort of curved it does start falling off the sides a little bit um i should have held do i hold it upside down now no that's what i should have done um but then we're going to repeat that to make it thicker because then once so we have cured that first bit with gel you can work in layers it's no problem um and sometimes it's easier because it's a gel it's it's moving um, and it self levels so you don't want it to fully self level like put loads on in the first place and have it fully self level you can do it in layers that's no problem um, so now we're doing the same and as you can see I did like kind of let it fall to the sides a bit so it's looking quite wide um, but let's pretend I, I didn't let that happen should have held it upside down a bit but we're building up that smile line because we're going to cure this and then we're going to wipe it and then we're going to file um so the bottom part of your file that's going to touch the nail no matter what file you're using doesn't have any grit on it so it's not um uh it's not like cutting through the nail it's only going to be filing on the side where there is grit obviously so we're going to file this um and try and get it into a nice shape i think i do it too round um but, you know, it is, it's the first time I'm ever doing this. I've always been scared of doing this. Um, so that's why, I've never done, that's why I've never done it. Because I was scared. Hello, beast. Um, so we'll, we'll file that. And do I file on the... It doesn't look like I've filed the body um, of the nail plate area. So you could, again, like, like with the boomer, you could use that pink to build up your high point. But I think... Um, I decided that 
I would go over again with clear at the end. Um, but obviously you will save yourself a step if you get enough product on to not need to go over everything in clear. Does that make sense? Yes. And now we are taking a black... Oh, that's me. Okay. I've become a dog bed. <laughs> we're taking black gel paint. I wish I'd used gel polish. Um, and we're going around the sort of little shelf we've made, little cliff we've made. And then we're just fading it down with an ombre brush. Um, and we're going to cure that. And then I'm going to mix some glitters together which I, I forgot on black are going to change colour because they're iridescent um, but it's still fine and then we're going to add some just a very thin layer of the clear gel and we, before curing we're going to plonk a bunch of glitters in it um, listen people on their way to the beach do you mind being a little bit quiet do you not consider that people might be working in the garden on a Saturday <laughs> So these, this glitter, if I didn't put it on black, because it's iridescent, you see how it looks a lot more sort of greeny. I don't know, I can't really see the screen properly on that side, but it's changed its colour. And it was going to match the crystals we're going to use, but then I put it on black, so it doesn't match them, but it's fine. And then we're taking some little shards, little iridescent shards, which are from a tray from Timu, I believe. I believe! Um, and we'll plunk those in it. Oh, and then I found some stars. Little purple stars. Let's get some stars on there. I almost did a video without stars. Can you just imagine? I am kind of annoyed that I didn't consider the fact that the glitter will change colour on black. So it's not going to match the crystals. But it's okay. It will still be pretty. Right, so we've added a bunch of stuff to that clear. And now we're going to take the clear gel and go over the everywhere that's not pink. You can go over the pink a little bit to sort of seal it all in because we're going to file anyway. So I've built the pink up, the pink section up enough for that to be, um, not need another overlay. Um, all just doing the stringy bits. Yes, it doesn't matter if you bring the clear over the pink because we'll file. Um, but if you hadn't built the pink up high enough to do, to be your apex, you could go over everything again with clear. Um, but I think I just did two layers of the clear section over the black area because it was, I didn't want to put too much on to fill the area because it was just self-leveling. So I did one bit and then cured it and then added more clear to the black area um, and then filed everything. Does that all make sense? I hope so. I built it up to match the pink section. There we go. And then we're going to add that kite shape one is also from Crystal Parade just called clear kite I think um, and then we have added some crystals that would have matched the glitter had I not put the glitter on black and then we're going to top it I've added caviar beads as well to our crystal placements oh look at that mm, so good my smile line isn't the best but I, I've never ever done this before um, so I'm gonna say it's okay um, I did my best therefore it's perfect Okay, just do your best and it's fine. Cure that, uh, top it, cure it, and that is that a one. I quite liked the creating the free edge and then filing it, um, but it's definitely something that will take a bit of practice, I think. Um, and that is our last one, I believe. No, we've got ages left. There must be another one. Oh, yeah, there is another one, um, a marbly one. So we're going to take, why is this so fast? I must have sped up the wrong bit. I'm going to take some of the pink and we're just going to slap it on in a wiggle. No rhyme, reason, or don't try and be neat. Just get it on in a wiggle. We'll do that in a few places, just going at a sort of angle. And then cure it. You okay, Itchy Magoo? Um, we'll faff around for a second. Oh, I decided the whole of this top bit could be mostly pink. Yeah, just going at a sort of angle, we're going to make a marbly type deal. And then we'll cure that, and then we're going to take... Oh! We're going to take some of the milky white. We're going to mix in some... Um, this is like a unicorn chrome. Um, so we're going to put a little bit of that in it. See those two hearts? 
I tried a few the, there was probably about six nails in total for this video um, or maybe even more but they were just attempts that just went horribly wrong at other things because um, I didn't know what to do at this point so this is just making it up as we go along so mixing some unicorn sh cars um, chrome and this pink pigment which I think is a glow I don't know it might be a glow in the dark one I've no idea but it just made the milk milky white a bit shimmery and then we're going to plonk that in the gaps but we're still going to leave some bits clear because we're going to put glitter in it so again just wiggling around no rhyme or reason I'm sorry I'm kind of at the bottom of the screen um, that will forever be a challenge for me to remain in shot the whole time <laughs> bang smack in the center okay we're inside now because some bastard just decided to use the world's loudest hedge trimmer um, this is that white just a close-up of it with the shimmery stuff in ah oh, so you can mix anything in with these gels and get creative so now I'm taking the we cured the white I'm taking the clear and I'm just going over the gaps because I didn't put anything down as a base on this nail and we're going to add some glitter in the gaps but then we're going to get carried away and kind of add it in places other than the gaps because it's sparkly and beautiful and then I added some more of the iridescent -y shards that we used on the other nail it's very easy to get carried away when you start using glitter um, so we'll plonk those in the clear areas but also I decided to add some more glitter up the top there and then we'll cure it and then we're going to take a big old bead of the clear gel and we're going to overlay cover everything um, so again just working the product left to right I'm not do I'm like I say I haven't used builder gel in ages so I don't do the best job um, but get it on there <laughs> Get the bulk of the product um, at where you want your apex to be. But we can work on that when we hold it upside down and do the stringy thing. Do the strings. And then we will um, cure it. So you see, you can see, sort of see that's really uneven. Just let gravity do its thing for a second. And then pull, just touch. You just want to touch where the thickest bit is. Just touch it and then move your brush to where there's a dip um, and it will pull that product in that direction. And then cure, wipe and file. And the crazy movements, you see that thumb going, bending, flexing the whole time. That's why I had carpal cell surgery on both my hands because my I think it was just, it's not the hand that paints. So I'm left-handed. So my left hand, I have had it on both. But my right hand was the worst, the one that has to um, hold people's fingers and move them and twist them. And, you know, you're constantly, your hand is tense and, um, you know, tense but moving. And that's, uh, that's what got me. And it's why I don't do extensions anymore on people because it's too much work for my hand. Even though I've had the surgery, they're still in pain all the time. It's just too much work and, and also work doing the infills and everything. Uh, yeah, so we have filed this so it's nice and smooth and how we want it. And then we're taking some white gel polish and we've just done some wiggly lines. And then we're taking this is the cleanup end or the blendy end of one of my ball pit nails brushes. Um, but I used to use, before I had those, the loop brush from Crystal Nails. Um, and we're just going to fade out the sides of these lines. So you want to keep the center of these lines. You still want the product to be fully opaque there. But you just want to lightly pull um, the sides out just to give them a kind of marbly vibe. Um, I think I put too much on here. Let's take it off. There we go. There we go. And now again, we can just wisp out um, from the line outwards. It's a bit bl blurry. Um, do I speed it up because it's blurry? Or do I just think you can endure the blur? <laughs> um, and then some parts like here, I'm almost just tapping along the line, not so much um, 
you know, you're not pulling it with big strokes. You're sort of tapping, but just moving back a teeny, teeny, tiny bit. Um, and making sure, and here I'm going to push in because I wanted to um, redefine the center of the line. You want the center of the line to sort of be crisp. Um, and then I added more, which I kind of wish I hadn't. I think I got a bit carried away just because I enjoy doing fiddly stuff like that. It's easy and fiddly. That's that's great. And the dark bluey bit in the middle, that's just the blue tack under the nail that we can see through because we've got some clear bits. And then we will top. And I don't think I put any crystals on this because we used all the crystals and I thought this was um, sparkly enough by itself. So there's our kind of marbly bit with clear bits and pink bits and um, all the three builder gels that they've come out with, which I highly recommend. The consistency is lovely. The, the viscosity, is that the same thing? I don't know. Um, it's really nice and that pink is just gorgeous. Um, and the crystals, obviously. Check the description for uh, discount codes and links. There's money off a whole bunch of nail places there. Um, and that's them. I hope you like them. Let me know in the comments which one is your favourite. Oh, I had something I keep meaning to tell you about the word zhuzh. It was on telly written the other day. I'll show you in the next video. Um, and we can put an end to how it's spelt. So we have the crystals from Crystal Parade and the Builder Gels from Madame Glam. Thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate it so, so much. Like, comment and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.